Jaguars are on the road again and for the first time they're in New Zealand where they will be facing the bottom place side from the New Zealand Conference, the Blues and both these teams will be desperate to get the result here today in round six of Super Rugby. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cornflakes Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the Super Rugby season following the fortunes of the Jaguars or the Jaguares as some people like to call them as well. The Blues here at home for this round's matchup and their team is looking pretty solid as well. As you'd expect from the Blues, performances are not really going their way, but the team definitely has the personnel right there. Plenty of players who have worn the black jersey before. Up and comers, the back row battle between Edwards, Gibson, and Luatua, and the Jaguars with the Matera, Baz, and Senatore is likely to be huge. Can they pull something out here, though? They'll have to rely on the likes of Horn and West to do something special. And the big man out wide, Ranger, Lee, and Yuani have pressure on them to score the points. The Jaguars starting 15 has taken quite a number of changes for this matchup without inspirational leader and captain Augustine Creeby they'll have to do instead with Montoya as well. Their back row as I mentioned before will be critical. Matera especially has been in phenomenal form on the blind side. It'll be the halves combination as well. A new one with Van Dajo partnering up with Iglesias who's in his second real appearance for this Jaguars side. We're seeing Montero for the first time on the left wing as well. Buffelli moves out to the right and Joya makes his first start at fullback for the Jaguars. We're all set to go already. The team's quickly out into the middle. Stadium packed to the hilt almost. It's the Blues, of course, in the blue jumpers. The Jaguars in the black with the orange shorts. Good to go. Iglesias kicks this one underway. And it's a big swirling wind as well. And the take straight Please. up for Rico Iwani. Puts it down for the Blues. Big hit there Please. straight away on Joe Edwards. Can't get away from anything there. Here's Parsons. We have a little devil down the short side. They look. And Pierce Francis has nowhere to go there either. Mauling it up. The Jaguars have held him up. But the ball comes out nicely. And now the Blues will choose a bit of width. Edwards again pops in. Lua to it. Round the corner. West has thrown out wide as well. Edwards slips it inside. Nice. And Mayu. Mayu around. Out the back door to Gibson. And Blake Gibson. Finds a bit of room but loses the ball as well as Landaho. Little short side run into Sethan. And it's away and goodbye. It's Rico Iwani. And the Blues are in for the opener. Intercepted looking for Montero. And the Blues, they get their crowd pumping. Rico Iwani it is. Short side, it was two on two. Look to get around him. Montero was gone if that had gone into hand. But it went, of course, instead to Ioani. Joya, unfortunately for the Jaguars, was out of position taking that break away from Blake Gibson, who did exceptionally well. But the ball has floated beautifully into the hands of Ioani. The short side play not happening this time for the Jaguars. They pay the price and they concede first. Blues desperate for points. As the high west. Nails the conversion. A very good goal kicker is the high west. And it's 7-0 the Blues leading over the Jaguars early on. Interesting stuff this start already. The Blues, of course, successful in round one against the Phoenix Champions. The Highlanders is back underway. We go and beautifully taken. Once again, it's Rico Iwani. He is having Please. a fantastic start to this match. As the ball is in a heated, contested battle. Short run there. Away it goes from Hall. Hall quickly wide. It's the way out there to Edwards again. Who has a little show and go for inside. It goes to Mayhew. Release. 
Nick Mayhew takes it contact as there his front row partner as they look wide for Philly. He's done it back to the Blues, but now here's Hall who intercepts the second pass. Maroney, he steals it now the breakdown. Bears well at Del Fonte. Here's Montero, gets the wheels rolling. Montero, wide ball to Glacius. Inside pass, Del Fonte. Pitty away, Herrera. Fence away the attempted tackle from Josh Beckwith. Right in centre field, just over the 10 minute line, stolen ball. And here come the Blues. Tamir Lee tries to charge his way away from Buffelli, but he is held out. The Blues get some big units in behind. You can see there, one big one in fact is Farmwina, who really gets an on for Taylor with his Francis. What a run from Pierre Francis. And it's stolen again by the Jaguars, but again it's Ranger intercepting the loose pass. Ball goes away, Mayhew gets hammered, and the Blues look to Storm. It's away, all oh, intercepted now from Iglesias. Just when we eat high west, look like he would make in roads. This game is at a helter speed at the moment. Drop goal, it's Francis. It's away. Wow, that is a welcome, welcomed break in play from the Blues. Piers Francis has gone astray by a whisker. The wind just pushing that one. My goodness me, these two sides are absolutely delivering on this match at the moment. Drop out from Iglesias. They look wide quickly. Buffelli, oh, he can't keep up. And Edwards again. Magnificent round down to the left wing side. Release. Keeping it tight now, the Blues. Hall goes himself short, finding Gibson, and Blake Gibson! What a tremendous run! Taking out three, four defenders on his way. They couldn't steer clear of the touchline. Nearing the half an hour mark of this matchup, but it's 7 0. Blues of the lead. Landaho. When it bears the first receiver, dreadful ball. Delafonte has given it to Ranger! Release. And that's not a man you want to give the ball to at all. Edwards, away to Lua Mayhew does well. Finds room out wide as well. It's to Vinley. But Felly slows him down just Release. enough. The Blues look amazing on attack. Here is Edwards again. Oh, he's pulled and driven backwards. And Matera steals the ball away. Iglesias, Matoya, nice ball, Lavanini, oh look out, he is a big man, here's Petting now, trying to charge through, Montero cuts in, Maroni, the way to Della Fuente, he takes the contact, and the Jaguars reset, oh big tackle there, the Jaguars struggle to hold on to the ball. Herrera's at the bag, the biggest scrum half in this match anyway. Iglesias. Oh, Iglesias. Silky smooth. But it's to Lee that comes in and dumps him to the ground. Now Senator Day waits for it. He'll have a little bit of a go. Swats some room short side. He's away. Comes up against the fullback. Finds pass the support. Inside pass to Penny. Penny goes away. Oh. Swide tried to switch it back. But they got away from Vicinia. And it was golden opportunity for the Jaguars. They could not capitalize. There is half time as well. Stole the ball. And Sinatore steals it. Bears gets it away. Iglesias, a big ball wide. Delafonte finding numbers out wide. Maroni, he's still got Montero. The Bulls into touch. The final pass. Not quite on the mark. And one. Opportunistic try to the Blues as all that separates the two sides at halftime. 7-0 Blues over the Jaguars at the break. But look at these stats here. The Blues have had a lot of balls. 74% of possession to only 26 for the visitors. Territory field, even though the Blues only just nudging that one by a few percent. Tackle count as well. Slightly in favour to the Jaguars. The line breaks is a key one though. Five to three. Both teams making plenty of chances, not converting any of them whatsoever. It's a tight one here. Seven nil Blues lead. Both sides we desperate to put this one away in the second half. E. High West. 
Some magnificent displays here from Blues and Jaguars players alike. It's back on the way we go. Second half. It's to Matera Delafonte. Oh, a gift to the inside centre. He steps away, but a good tackle. Fitzson there at the back. Quick support, though, for the Jaguars. Wide looking for Buffetti. He's through. Has he got the speed? It's Fitzson there. Up against Buffetti. But he pulls him down. Great tackle, Lolangi Vicenia, and the Blues secure the ball back, but it's knocked on, Herrera pulls it in, Landau, Lavanini, wide, Montero, he slips straight through and scores the response finally for the Jaguars. Well, that was a special play, Sinatore with the massive hit to Z High West, completely out of position. Straight into the hands of Herrera and watched them shift it quickly and in depth. Then the big run from the distance of Montero. And he's a hard man to stop the best of times. Give him a head start like that and you are in trouble. Watch them shift here. Lavanini hits it deep. Beautiful. Gets his speed up. No chance for Blake Gibson and co in the middle. Much needed reply for the visitors. And the Jaguars are on the board. It is game on. Still a strong wind here. Coming against the back of Iglesias as he strikes it nicely. Right in front, no mistake, no problems. We're all tied up where we began at 7-7. No separation between these two sides so far after 47 minutes. E. High West, the man who gave away that knock on that ultimately led to the try, kicks off. Lavanini finds width on the ball. Delafonte played well just before as well to get that pass out. Now Buffelli finds room. He is very hard to stop. He gets on a good round, but he goes straight to the shoulder of Parsons. Recycled. Lavanini, monster of a man, Herrera, Baz, now they shift it again, Iglesias, oh they're king to run on the Jaguars, it's Maroney, Helena Montero, it's a fun race, has he got the guts though, he's dragged down the high west, covering back nicely, Vicini is scampering back, there's no one on the left, it's Orlando Hall, looking for Maroney, he is absolutely smashed once again, Blues defence holding up just, Montoya, oh and a pity, there's numbers here, Buffelli, whoa, what a pass, Delafonte at the back door, best to pity, Lavanini in the middle, gets some big wheels trundling, in the 22 of the Blues, they might find the ball here, they do, Rene Ranger, finds room out wide, Lee, Lee is put down, good tackle Release. from Landajo. Ball. Oh, it's coming back here. The Jaguars got a bang. They didn't really expect it. Now Sinatore. Beautifully. Montero. He can't get the pass out. Tackle from behind. Landajo again. Oh, this offside player. He goes himself. Landajo. Oh, he's short by a millimeter. Absolute whisker away. Lavanini. Lavanini. Oh, he gets the penalty advantage offside against the Blues in the high west. And they'll cash in as well. Well, Lavanini, we know he is a big, big unit. Here he goes. Oh, West, he got a fistful as well. But Parsons come over the top and ended that chance. But here's a shot at goal that will put the Jaguars in front. Strong wind against the Glaciers here. Once again, struck it nicely. First attempt. That one is beautiful as well. Iglesias makes it 10-7. The Jaguars lead for the first time in the match. Sixty-three minutes have ticked over. We have under twenty to go. Herrera, beautiful tag from the prop. Delafonte, beautiful ball away to Buffelli. Somehow offloads. Iglesias to Maroni. Oh, look out. Maroni, 2 1. Steps again. Oh, Vicenia saves the day. What a play from Maroni. But the Blues may have this wrapped up. They do. 
intercepted. Here we go. It's the Jaguars again. Iglesias, Luana de la Fuente. It's two on one. Oh, what a tackle. That one coming in Release. from France that saves the Blues again. Lamanini. Big pass. Maroni. He's through again. Now he steps another time, but he's pulled down. Quick recycle ball. Lanajo. He goes himself. Gets the pass. Buffelli. Pulled down and it's intercepted from Mayhew. Here's Farmerina. Up to his own 22 he goes. Recycle quickly. He hires. Sides in. Little Lamanini and De La Fonte. Why'd they quickly come? Inside ball Ranger. Ready Ranger. Oh, he bulldozes. Gets it away to Parsons. Quick hands to Francis. Why'd they look? Numbers here for the Blues. To Italy shut down. Buffelli makes a try saving tackle three on one as well Farmina wide Luatua has heaps of room to go Ranger gets it away out to Ioanni De La Fonte intercepts release plenty of black jerseys here for the Jaguars they quickly shift it back to Iglesias He's in the 22, but it'll pass back. Vicinia tricks across. He pulls it in nicely. Right. Is he going to back himself? Oh, he throws a forward pass straight to the hands of Rennie Ranger. He wasn't expecting it. Vicinia was out of ideas. And the Blues throw away a golden chance to counterattack. Crouch. Crouch. They could well have thrown away this match as well, too. The Jaguars. 10-7 the score. Oh, the Blues! Big shove. First hit. Initial shot from the Blues. Will turn this ball over. There's full time. Is there one more go for the Blues? There will be a chance. Paul cuts out straight to Ranger. Who goes back inside. And a great run coming away from Gibson. Release. Edwards is involved too. Plenty of black jerseys there for the Jaguars. Oh, don't. Oh, they have. They've stolen this to Jaguars. Montero, Montero slides through. He's going to go himself. Oh, he's hammered for Sanir at the back. The Jaguars, do they know it's full time? Do they know they've got the lead? I'm not sure if they do. Senatore, Buffalo, he's going to close us out. Running around your chasers. He'll only chase them to the corner. And Buffalo sells the deal for the Jaguars when they should have just kicked it out. And they have with that as well. Tonight, the Blues, a bonus point. Senatore had to do hard yards there. What a play. Ranger has Buffelli for speed. But the head start for the winger is just too much to catch up on. What a play from the Jaguars. Magical stuff. Didn't score for the first half. They've scored a couple of blinding tries in the second. Well, Montero made some room for himself. Many would have wondered why he didn't just run into touch. But he backed that special play. And they've come out on the right side of it this time. Could have been so much different. Here is Iglesias to finish this one off. A beautiful kick. Wind right at his back. No problems whatsoever. 17-7 will be the final score. There is the final whistle. The visitors have come to New Zealand and they have taken first points of the Blues. A great display from the Jaguars. They have come away with a 10 point win over the Blues. Could have been so different. Three points in it till after the 80th minute as well. It was Rico Iwani in step try that gave the Blues a very long and very timely seven point lead for most of the match really, all of the first half and a portion of the second. Before it was a try to Montero that tied it up when Iglesias converted the conversion. It was 7-0 at that point but it was the Iglesias penalty goal that put the Jaguars in the lead 10 points to 7. After the 80th minute it was a great run from Montero, finished off from Buffelli, that gave them the 17 point to 7 scoreline. Much, much more from where it should have been, really. 10 7 was a decent reflection. The Jaguars deny the Blues a bonus point for coming within 7, and they will take 4 points for a glorious win today.
We have a stats here, full time position. 54 46. There's not much in that, really. 60 40 territory, both going to the Jaguars. Handlinger is starting to three. That's a, a pretty fair reflection of how that match went. Line break, so 10 altogether for the Jaguars. I think they're only at three at half time. The Blues didn't add much from their half time tally of line breaks, and you could tell they didn't really look like scoring for most of that match. Credit to the Blues, though. Edwards Gibson were fantastic throughout the game. Their back row, exceptional. The Jaguars, plenty of players who stood out. Lavanini had a monster of a game throughout for the Jaguars. Iglesias and Moroni. Del Fuente as well. Very, very good games for the visiting side. All right, so that wraps me up here today for the coverage of this week's Super Rugby matchup for the Jaguars. It has been an enthralling matchup in this round. We'll be back again next time for plenty more Jaguars rugby as well as other matches from around Super Rugby as well. So if there's something specific you think deserves a week replay from this weekend's matches, do leave me down in the comments. But for now, for today, thank you for tuning and watching. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.